Now let us consider one generic or sample greedy algorithm. In the previous video, we have discussed what are the different properties are there in the greedy algorithm. And in this particular um, session, we are discussing one generic greedy algorithm. Okay, now see, the greedy algorithm proceeds step by step. Initially, the set of chosen candidates is empty. That means at first, we know that we are having three sets, uh, sets will be there. Set number one, that is a set of candidates. Set number two, that is a set of candidates considered and selected. And set number three will be the set of candidates considered and rejected. So initially, that very particular set, which is set of candidates considered and selected will remain empty. So from that very particular state, we are, we are just beginning with this algorithm. Okay, now see, the greedy algorithm proceeds step by step. Initially, the set of chosen candidates is empty. Then at each step, we consider adding to this set the best remaining untried candidates selected by the selection function. So that means we know that we are having four functions are there, four functions. So we will be using them in this particular algorithm. And that is one function known as a selection function, which will find out the most promising candidate to be selected to be included in this particular selected candidate set which is most promising and not tried yet. Okay, the sample greedy algorithm is as follows. The function greedy C is a set of, it is a set and it returns a set. So you see I have written one algorithm, this algorithm has got different syntax to write. Here I have used this one C is a set of candidates and it will return some set. Which, which set will it return? Obviously, it will return that very particular set where candidates have got tried and also selected. So, this is the comment line. C is a set of candidates initially. Okay. S is equal to 5. We construct the solution in the set S. So, they told that initially the selected candidates set will remain empty. While C is not becoming 5, that means set of candidates are getting empty and not solution S do. S is a set of candidates which you are considering and if this set is not giving solution right now, then go on doing and it is an logic. If this set gives a solution, it will come out from the uh, while block and if this uh, candidates have got exhausted, all the candidates we have tried and all candidates have got exhausted, then also will be coming out from this while construct. Okay. So, x is equal to select c. So, select is a function. This function will select the set of candidates from the set of candidates. It will select one candidate which is not tried yet. Now, we are considering and selecting that one and which is the most promising. Promising means what? This particular candidate inclusion in the solution set we, uh, will lead us to go for some optimal solution and let the candidate be x, then the candidate is getting the set difference is taking place. The set of candidate, that very candidate is getting deducted, will be eliminated from the set of candidates. So my set of candidates will get reduced by one element. If feasible, that means this is a solution set and if inclusion of that union, inclusion of this particular candidate in this particular set is feasible, then S is equal to S union set of candidates containing x only. So, in this way it is doing. Here you see, we have already used the solution function, we have used the selection function, we have used the feasibility check function, feasible. So, which function will remain implicit? I told that one in the previous video, that is the objective function. You cannot see that objective function I am just calling. The function will remain implicit in our greedy algorithm. So, there are four functions are there. So, in this way, this while block will get executed. So, it will come out when this either this condition will become false or this condition will become false. So, after coming out, if solution S then return S. That means, if the S that, that is the set of considered and selected candidates can give us the solution. Give us the solution means what? I have taken so many edges of a particular graph. Through those edges, going through those edges, can I reach to the gold node from the very initial start node? 
is it so yes says that means i've got a solution so if the solution s then return s otherwise the solution has not been found so else return there are no solutions so it, this particular thing will be returned and this return so i think with having this solution is the return is else return this i think this return we don't require because in the true part we are having return in the false part we are having return so the last return does not require okay so that is my sample generic greedy algorithm so all the greedy algorithms will be falling in this particular skeleton i think you are getting my logic please watch the previous video then only you can get the logic very clearly and thanks for watching this one